from the campus of the University of Alabama, live sports. From Alabama's sports team, this is WVUA Sports. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Braswell, filling in for Gary Harris. Let's begin tonight with basketball. Avery Johnson has been pretty busy since being named the head basketball coach. He's been traveling all over the Southeast, recruiting for the Tide, and told the media at a recent Crimson Caravan stop he's hopeful he can sign some big-name players. We have our eyes on, on some guys, and we'll see where it goes. But um, a, a lot of the young players that are in the 2016, 2017 class uh, are guys that we have our eyes on that maybe uh, would have told the University of Alabama uh, no uh, years ago. Uh, hopefully they'll tell us maybe, and uh, hopefully some will tell us yes. All right, on to softball. Alabama playing host to number 12, Tennessee. Top of the six, Vols up one when Annie Aldrietti takes this pitch for a ride deep to center field. It's out of here. Two run homer, and the Vols go up 3 0. Bottom of the six, Bama trying to get on the board. They get some help from Vols pitcher Rainey Gaffin with a wild pitch, and that will score Callie Case to make it 3 to 1, Vols. Bama had the bases loaded with no outs at one point in the bottom of the six, but they can't get any more runs across. Here's Haley McClenney flying out. Bama falls to Tennessee 3 to 2. Game two is tomorrow at 6 30. On the baseball, Braves versus the Mets. Top of the second, Mets up 3-0. Andleton Simmons hits a rocket off the center field wall. They wave A.J. Przinsky around. He gets gunned down at the plate, but the umpires would review it, and not so fast. They say Mets catcher Anthony Recker blocked the plate, and Przinsky is ruled safe. Bottom of the seventh, Mets up 5-3, looking for some insurance, and they get it from Daniel Murphy. Bloops one over short, and Michael Kadire would score from second. Mets go on to win 6-3. Braves fall to 8-7 on the year. To the NBA, LeBron James continuing his quest to bring a championship to his hometown Cavs. Second quarter, King James drains a long three, but the Celtics wouldn't go away on their home floor, as you might imagine, without a fight. Here's Tyler Zeller with the long two, gets it to go, and we are tied at 38 late in the second but 30 seconds to play, Cavs up five. LeBron drives baseline, kicks it out to Kevin Love, who buries the three in front of the Boston bench. Cleveland goes on to win 103 to 95. Cavs lead the series three zip. And tonight, some local high school fishermen were honored at Cypress Inn in Tuscaloosa. Those honored were the winners of the Hideaway Harbor Fishing Trail Fishing Tournament last weekend in Livingston. Tonight featured dinner and motivational speaking from guests including Eli Gold, Mercury Boat Company executives, and professional tournament fisherman Clay Dyer. That's all the time we have for sports. We're back in more news right after the break.